We're going to do a little bit more with our greatest common factor. Um, kind of similar to the video you watched yesterday. Remember, we're going to break these down. I can break it down into a factor tree for both of them. I just come up with values that go into each, and I just keep doing it until I get um, all prime numbers. So 200 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Then I'll go through and do the same thing with 105. Break that down. I know 5 goes in there 21 times. And 3 times 7. So this one is 3 times 5 times 7. And what they have in common is the GCF. So in this case, it is 5 for that first one. But they don't always just have one thing in common, as you're going to see in the next problem. Sometimes they have more. So when I break down 96 and 144, 96, I'll start with, it's even. Sometimes I can't see exactly what goes into it. Sometimes it's obvious. But this one's even, so I know that's 2 and 48. Uh, 48 is 2 and 24. 24 is 2 and 12. 12 is 2 and 6. 6 is 2 and 3. So 96 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos and a 3. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. I'll do the same thing with 144. 2 times 72. 2 times 36. You might need a calculator for these. 2 times 18. 2 times 9 and 3 times 3. So 144 is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now they both share 1, 2, 3, 4, at least 4 2's and a 3. So 4 2's and a 3. So my GCF is 2 to the 4th times 3, or when I multiply that together, I get 48. So that one's a kind of big greatest common factor. Oops, I sorry, I just went off the screen on that one, but I'm pretty sure you know what I was doing when I was breaking it down. So that's kind of what you did yesterday. Um, now we're going to in um, input some variables in there. Don't let the variables bother you. You do the same thing. You're going to start it the same way that you did. So I'm going to do this 52 break that down 2 times 26, which is 2 times 13. So I have 2 times 2 times 13, but I don't want to forget times x times y times y. So I'm just breaking down the variables. Then I'll do the 39y. 39 is 3 times 13. I don't think I can do anything more, so that's 13, 3 times 13y. So these guys have a 13 and a y in common, 13 and a y in common, so my greatest common factor is 13y. That doesn't look like a 13, I'll rewrite it, 13y. That looks better. Sometimes they're going to be obvious, oh I'm sorry, <laughs> um, you can look at it, um, sorry for that, I had a little uh, um, visitor. And um, so I'm back, sorry for my little loot, loot, stumble, stumble, but what I was going to say is sometimes um, when you look at them, it's obvious. Like I can look and I know that 30 goes into both 30 and 60, and if you can do that, great. I'm not going to stop you from doing that. My greatest common factor here is 30. 60 doesn't have any X's with it, so I'm done, you know. Other times you're going to have to do a little bit more work, but if you can look at it and tell you can just make sure. Sometimes it seems like it's obvious, but it's not. You know, clearly two goes into both of these in, in problem number six, but that doesn't mean it's the greatest number that goes into both of them. So I'm going to do 63, break that down. Don't forget the y squared on the end. I'll do that on the end, but the 63 is 7 times 9, and that's 3 times 3. So I have 3 times 3 times 7 times y times y. Done on that one. 54xy cubed, break that down, that's 6 times 9, 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So I have 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times x times y times y times y. Okay, again, 
look through and see what they share. Looks like two threes and two y's. I can pull out of both of them. So it's greatest common factor, three times three times y times y, or nine y squared would be my final answer that I put for that. Again, one more. I've got 42u cubed and 28v squared u. My 42 is 2 times 21, 3 times 7. Looks like I have 2 times 3 times 7 times u times u times u. Go through and do the 28. 2 times 14, 2 times 7. So I have 2 times 2 times 7 times v times v times u. That was supposed to be a u there, okay? So again, I'll go through, I see a 2, I see a 7, I see a u, I see a 2, I see a 7, I see a u. That's what I'm looking for. So my GCF is 2 times 7 times u, or 14u. All right? Um, give it a try. If you have any questions, uh, email me. Uh, complete the form that is attached, and um, I will talk to you later.